Alrighty, everyone, we're heading into our second half of tonight's Diablo 4 stream as we continue on with Act 3, which we just began. We we're on the, the uh, we we're looking for Elias, thinking he was conjuring up all these demons, coming to find out it's someone else named Genbar, who is working with, or for Lilith, yeah. and doing all this demon summoning, so we're trying to catch up with Genbar now. Oh, mother. Thank you. We can hear him chanting, Genbar. I'm trying to use this new build because it's a little different. The new build is a little different here. I don't know why I just used that. That was a complete waste. I'm not mashing chain lightning anymore. Probably a boss coming up, but there's a healing well. To show me the way. I long for the day when we stand oh boy. by your side and set the cleansing fire. Dr. Dan Gleesix says, spam your shock skill. That's just the regular A attack. When you use your old... The then when, you, when you're using your ultimate skill, it activates Prox's full potential. Just before you use the ultimate, you can use all your mana with ice shards. So what you're saying is charge up everything with electricity and then you, you keep you use all my mana with ice then when i use the electricity ultimate i get my mana back i think that's what you're saying <clears throat> genbar visitors D did master elias send you master elias well yes <laughs> in fact he did of course ours is a very important mission we have something for the master but we had heard he was with you you know where he is liar Dirty pigs born liar. Nah. The master has all he needs. Well, I don't know what you mean about charging up. I see no meter charging up whatsoever, so I'm just going to use my ultimate skill. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I really don't. Out of mana. I just got feared. Why are you talking so slowly? That is a proper game. Watch out. Mammon? Mammon. I'm not ready. Yet. Nope, not getting caught by you. I have my teleport. Fuck off. So much for mom and Jesus, lightning is insane. Look at this. Look at the damage I'm putting out. Oh, I feared me again. He's done. We're about to beat the boss, dude. We destroyed him with the ultimate skill. Holy crap. Nothing good here. Nope. Oh, Elias. How vicious you Nah. Okay. Oh, uh, nothing like chilling before I head to bed on your nice streams. It's chill as hell, says Airhead. I'm glad that you you feel that way and you're having a good time, Airhead. Thanks for being here. What happens now? Bad news first. Gemba was expecting someone. It seems Elias has turned others to his madness. Taught them to summon too, I'd wager. You heard Gemba. The master has all he needs. They're about to do something drastic. And the good news? <laughs> Elias gave us a gift, remember? This demon he sent to kill us. It is unique. It requires constant feeding. Human sacrifices, in fact. If I cut open its belly, someone inside might hold a clue. Tell us where it came from. 
I must have it brought to Cadbardu for examination. Huh. Make yourself useful and head to the Orbe Monastery. So now we're going to the monastery. Alright, we're done here. So the monastery is back here. Down there. It looks like... Okay. It looks like we can actually go to a new town now, which we didn't. So let's do that and unlock the town. And then we'll go to the monastery, because I want to get the town unlocked first. Dark Gullbox says, do you think all games have gotten too long lately? It's not that every game is too long. It's that there's far too many long games all coming out at once. It used to be, <clears throat> first of all, in the 90s, when you had a long RPG, they literally charged you more money for it. Like, certain video games would be cheaper, and then others would be way more expensive because they were lengthy RPGs, right? Now, today, every game is exactly the same price. And it seems like there's no rhyme or reason to when a game comes out. You'll have five insanely lengthy high profile triple a rated rpgs coming out within the same month like how the fuck am i supposed to play all those and that's the problem if every game is so lengthy that it's assuming you're investing all of your time into it when you're playing it how are you expected to play more than one so it's like either you take forever to beat a game or you pick and choose what game you play and you miss out on a ton it's one or the other and i don't know if either is a very good option for someone like me who's a content creator um there are just so many i mean what it really happened was last console gen. Before the PS4, Xbox One era, most games weren't like that. Most games were at most like 20-some-hour experiences. And all of a sudden, every game became this insane 40, 50, 60, 70-hour experience. And it became the norm to expect that. And I don't necessarily know if that's the best game design choice in the modern day. Take a look at Assassin's Creed games. The last couple have suffered so much from bloating. That they have so much content and it takes so long to beat the game with the grindy parts that are required to advance through the story but they didn't make the game any better they just made it tedious right a torn note so yeah i mean that's my take is yes i do feel like a lot of games these days are going longer but not necessarily because it improves the game but just because they're following suit with this trend that a game must be at least minimum if not 40 50 60 hours long you know what i'm saying i just don't get it Now I get questions like, well, how does Asmon Gold do this or this or this? How do I know? Am I fucking Asmon Gold? Do I watch his content? I have no idea. I know nothing about the guy. Maybe he streams way more than me because he has that ability. Maybe. I don't know. I'm here six days a week full time. So I don't know how he could be streaming, you know, seven days a week more than full time. I don't know. You tell me. You watch him, not me, right? How would I answer a question like that? <laughs> I'm the last person to ask. I pay no attention to many of my contemporaries because uh, I try to do my own thing, right? All right. Here's the fast travel in this town. There we go. And uh, shall I sell? Because I don't think I'm going to use any of these. I'll probably just... I'll break all these down. I'll save my gems. So, blacksmith to break down, and then storage for the gems. Asmund Gold does 18-hour streams. Well, there's your answer. I mean, the dude is apparently not taking any breaks or anything, right? <laughs> uh, how do I sell? Here we go. Okay. And then I want to store those. Paseos says, remember the Battle Royal trend? How many games were made during that time? How many of them died on launch day? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. These, these game companies don't understand trends and fads. They really don't. They think that these things will last forever. And then they spend three years developing their own version of a game that's popular today. And by the time their version comes out, it's not popular anymore. That happened a ton with the Battle Royale slash free-to-play online competitive game. Take a look at games like, uh, what was it? Vo that volleyball one? I can't remember what it was called. Knockout City, I think? Or the, uh, Slam City or Slam... What is, whatever it was, the wrestling one or whatever. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? How do I store shit? It's not my stash. This is my stash. Here we go. How do I, uh... I'm probably not gonna ever use this, by the way. Am I? How do I store my shit? Oh. 
There you go. The Cliff Benzinzi game. I mean, that game was so late to the game. Okay. Alright, we're going this way. Battleborn tried to come out the same day as Overwatch, right? I mean, we could talk about these forever. These trends that these game developers try to follow, and they don't understand that it's a trend that's, you know, it's not going to last forever. Really weird. No, it's just like we, we, the, the React video I was doing yesterday. We were watching the video about the rise of podcasts on YouTube. And it's like, why is it that YouTube and everyone else is trying to copy TikTok and do short-form stuff? Meanwhile, what's actually blowing up on YouTube is long-form podcasts. YouTube is always behind the curve. They never understand what's actually popular or why it is. It's really weird. Okay. Everyone have a good time tonight? I hope so. If you are, please consider giving the stream a like. We have around 50-some likes. It would be great to hit 100 tonight. And, of course, in addition to that, any support is always greatly appreciated here on my streams. It is how I make my living. So if you would like to possibly tip or maybe a mem become a member, get the membership to someone or a super chat, all appreciated, guys. Thank you to anyone who happens to do that tonight. I really would uh, be grateful. Here's where we're headed, the Monastery Halls. Okay. There we go. This place has been taken. It reeks of forbidden spells. There we go. Uh, Lee, I did play Diablo 1. I played Diablo 1 and 2 back in the day. I loved the games, however, it's been so long since I played them that, uh, <laughs> I can't really remember to you any specifics about it. Well, it looks like this monastery is abandoned, no? Looks completely empty. Probably there's gonna be a bunch of demons in here. The Horodrim Elias and I are not to be disturbed for the remainder of our meal. Yeah, look. Slain monk. What about the others? The elbow. The elbow. Arkham's is only two days till summer. No, it's summer. It's summer here. If summer was much earlier. It's not tomorrow. It's not the 27th. Summer happens earlier in June, right? It's already summer. No, I'll, okay, I'll ask an honest question because Dex says... You're stern in regards to your schedule. A lot of others aren't. They stay around till 3 a.m. They'll do 15 hours for three days to finish a game in three days. Do they not have families and or lives or responsibilities outside of streaming? I do. Like, if I played games for three straight days for 15 hours, I would never see my wife. Like, never. So, <laughs> I would have no time to spend with my, my family. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. How the hell are they living a life if they're sitting at their computer for 18 hours for three days straight? Then they're not spending any time with their family at all. So, I don't understand that. And again, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm asking. I'm not criticizing. I'm genuinely asking. What kind of a life is that? If they're literally just on their streams endlessly and they never leave. Plus, by the way, you know that's incredibly unhealthy, right? Like, you should be taking time away, moving around, doing things off center, sitting sedentary for 18 plus hours in one day. That's horrible for your health. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Place the Crusader Skull on the pedestal. Okay. Haseo says, that sounds like the life of someone who's single. I mean, maybe, but it's funny because people are like, no, they're, they're married. It's like, okay, so they're married, but do they actually have, like, a life is my question. If you, if, like, let's say, for example, when Diablo came out, I literally just sat here for three straight days and only played Diablo for 18 hours for three days, and we beat the story in three days. I would not spend time with my family. I wouldn't be eating meals or being healthy. I would actually probably feel like shit after doing that. 
and my wife would probably be furious that I didn't even spend any time with her at all. Same thing, you know, she'd be doing everything in the house, all the chores, all the responsibilities, while I'm just sitting here fucking streaming a game for three straight days. You understand? So, how do they do it? I don't know. You'd have to go ask them. But I'm just telling you from a realist's perspective, there's no way I could maintain a real life if I was sitting here playing that much. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I had to do, you know, work-life balance is something that I had to adopt because I didn't used to do it. You remember back in the day when I was single? That's exactly how I treated everything, right? It was just like, hey, I'll just do whatever and I'll play endlessly and I'll beat a game in two, three days. But that's because I literally had nothing to do. I had no family, no responsibilities. I could just fuck around endlessly. And now I, I, I'm different. I'm grown up, man, you know? I got a different life now, which I love. I love my life. It's super duper fun to have that kind of a life. And that's what I've always wanted. So I'm happy where I am, but I just don't understand how then people can complain. It's like, dude, maybe you, you think that the people who are, who are doing that kind of crazy shit don't have a life. I don't know how they could. It's just, I, it's not, it's not feasible, you know? <laughs> I think maybe that's the challenge is I'm trying to maintain a real, a real normal life while I'm also being a streamer. And I think a lot of people who do this don't do that. They have these crazy lifestyles and shit. Like, I mean, not again, not that I'm criticizing. Have you seen the pictures of Asmongold's place? That it looks like he's a hoarder. It's full of trash and clothes and shit everywhere. It looks like a pigsty. And I'm not criticizing that. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. Because what do you do when you sit around for 18 fucking hours? That's what happens. Right? So, I mean... <laughs> but again, these are honest questions I'm asking. This is not a criticism. Hey, if these people can do it and actually have a real life and, and maintain all that more power to them. I don't know how they do it, you know? <clears throat> See, but then you get morons who make fun of me. Oh, he doesn't have a family. Okay, fuck you. Yes, I do. Go fuck yourself. I hate people who say d disgusting shit like that. I don't have a family just because I don't have a human child. Apparently, I don't have a family. Okay, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I'm not ready yet. I'm low on yeah. precious money. Gothic bad boy, what does what you just said have anything to do with our discussion? He says, a lot of streamers exercise. That would make you feel better. What the fuck does that have to do with our discussion right now? We're talking about work-life balance and how people apparently are playing 18 hours on launch day with for three days of beating a game in three days. What does that have to do with me taking time out from streaming to exercise? <laughs> you want to talk like, what are you speaking of, right? It, it makes no sense what you're saying. You're, it's like you're trying to you're just trying to get me in a gotcha moment. Oh, so you don't exercise. <laughs> what are you talking about? I need more time. Phantoms in here. Where are they all coming from? They're just appearing out of thin air. A bunch of phantoms out of nowhere. Okay. Get rid of this idiot. Alright. See, is that true? Dieter says, sadly, Asmund has, doesn't really have a family. His only life is what he does behind a commu computer monitor. His content... I love his content, but his lifestyle is unhealthy. He's an introvert. See, again, I don't know that. I don't know that at all. I know nothing about the guy. Maybe that's how he does what he does. I do feel that there's just ridiculous, unfair comparisons between content creators. You gotta understand that everyone's different. Everyone is living a different life, and just because one person does something one way does not mean that's the way to do it. Nor does it mean that, you know, that they're any better or worse than anyone else. Obviously, anyone who has a following on the internet is doing it in a way that works for their viewers. So who are you to criticize and say, this is better, this is worse, right? I used to live that lifestyle, like, no exaggeration. I used to live that lifestyle where I would just sit there and just play endlessly. Before I was streaming, 
and I was just doing the on-demand videos on YouTube, I would sit there and record endlessly because I had no family, no responsibilities, nothing to do but just play games all week. So that was me. And by the way, that was when I was at my most unhealthy. I was constantly drinking. I was eating unhealthy food because I didn't have time to cook because I was just recording constantly. That was the worst part of my life. Now I'm in a much, much, much better part of my life and I'm happy with the balance I have, but the trade-off is now I need time for personal life and therefore I can't sit here for 12, 14 hours playing games every day. You see? <clears throat> uh, Zombie Jesus, I've ignored your super chats because you're doing drama shit and I'm gonna, if you wanna actually do a super chat and say something nice, uh, I'll entertain it. I'm not entertaining your, your bullshit though. Okay. Are you wounded? Where's the abbot? The abbot. Open the door. And the pale devil's fine. He took the forbidden knowledge. The pale devil. Who is that? It's all right. I've cleared the way out. Can you walk? There is no way out. My knowledge remains. Must never leave. Unto evening I shall keep it safe. And into the night here after. We must protect the archive. The Blimp says it's insane. I've been watching your Tony Hawk playthrough. You, I know this way lost even from them. Yeah, in the last few years I've lost weight. Significant weight. I know it for a fact. Um, even just, you know, the Tony Hawk playthrough was what, two, three years ago when the Tony Hawk Remaster Collection came out? And even then, yeah, I've lost weight. It's just, it's a lifestyle change. It's me not eating as much as I used to. And, and, you know, metering what's in the house, not putting junk foods and stuff in the house. I have no temptation to eat it. I, I eat a bagel in the morning with coffee. Sometimes I eat a burrito in the morning with coffee, one of those microwave burritos. For dinner, I have whatever my wife makes. And then at night, I'll have like a sandwich or I'll do something, you know, something, you know, basic, nothing crazy. No snacking, no, no candy or chocolates or anything like that, right? So there you go. That was three years ago, the, the uh, playthrough. There you go. I was, I was at that point. If you remember, 2017 into early 2018 was not a good time for me. A lot of personal shit changed. That was pretty negative. And then I basically was trying to get myself back on track. But that year, I did a lot of damage. I was eating badly for like a year, really bad. So I put on weight, and it took me a year or two to take off that weight again. Right now, I'm definitely not skinny, but I am at the probably one of the best weights I've had in a very long time. I'm just around 200 pounds, probably just a few over 200. While for a long time there, I was at least between 215 to 220, and at my heaviest in my life, I was at 240. Alright, might leave this now. Appropriate. Yeah, lightning everywhere. Why not? If I can line them up in a row, it seems like the ice shards will hit them for combos, which is great. My question is, what am I supposed to do when there's endless amounts of fucking enemies coming? Like, what is this shit? Look, there's so many. <laughs> like, that was a lot of enemies going at me at once there. Okay. Hand wraps. Argos says, I can't imagine people who are 500 pounds. I mean, here's the thing. If you if you are that heavy, that is a decision to be that heavy. Unless you have a physical disability and you can't, like, move. But even then, how are you maintaining that weight? You're eating enough to maintain that weight. You've gotten to yourself to a point in your life where you're just so used to eating badly and in giant quantities that you're okay with it. No one just accidentally wakes up and is 500 pounds. You understand? It, you know, and I'm not hating on those people. I'm sure it's very tough for them. But at the same time, there's absolutely no way to just happen, you know? If you didn't... It, 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 it's not a, a lot of issues. A lot of the enabling that probably goes on with that lifestyle. People around them who don't really try to help. And instead, they, like, they do the unhealthy things. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. You gotta understand, that's probably an endless cycle. Once you get to that weight, now you're depressed about who you are. Which just makes it even harder for you to try to want to change. Because now you hate yourself and stuff because of your weight. I need time. You know what I mean? Like I, I can imagine being an endless cycle of stuff that can never be ended. Which really sucks. Here we are. I did the wrong thing completely. <laughs> I had completely the wrong ability. Oopsie. That didn't matter. It's not in this room anyway. 
So what are we doing in this room? Uh, it says to be here. But there's nothing here. Oh! Archive door. Oh, alright. So I have to interact with statues, I guess. Alright. But that's, that's correct. Michael Caine says in the movie The Whale, which I actually just saw, starring uh, Brendan Fraser, he says he only gets that big from his enablers and his choice to be sedentary and his choice of foods. Right. He has an enabler who comes by his house every day and gives him the unhealthy food. That's terrible. Why are they doing that? Right? I understand they love the guy, but if you truly love him, are you going to enable him to be unhealthy and kill himself? Right? And he just allowed himself to become sedentary. He's from depressed. Morning, he hates himself. That's why he won't improve his life. Opened, and I saw the coming darkness through the day. I have prepared to accept the burden of knowledge. Unto evening, I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. Uh, Jade, I'm not sure about tomorrow in Street Fighter. I'm leaning towards Zangief and Lily. I'll probably watch some videos of them tonight and see, see if I learn anything. We'll see. I'm definitely not doing Chun-Li, and I'm definitely not doing, um, uh... Blanca tomorrow. It's going to be different characters, so. The Abbot of Orbe. We need to leave now. No. I deserve to burn with the rest of it. Where is Elias? Gone. He said the ruin of Sanctuary was imminent and only I could help. He is going to summon a lesser evil. He took all he needed. By the way, this plot makes no sense right now. Like, it has nothing to do with Lilith, does it? Anything we're doing right now in Act 3? It's just random shit <laughs> happening that Laura told us about. I don't even know what we're doing this for. It seems completely unrelated to the major plot. He is down to half health already. Where did he go? He's just getting his ass whooped. He can't even do anything. Look. <laughs> Yo, he can't do anything. He's getting completely bodied. I think he was supposed to be able to keep me away, but for some reason it's not working whatsoever. And I'm just completely demolishing this guy. Chain Lightning, look at his health! Look at his health just melting. Holy shit. I need more time. Yeah, he's done. There we go. And I leveled up. Of Lilith, and no secret shall be kept from them. And the liars and learned thieves of the world. Blah shall blah blah. In their regret. Sure. Anyway, uh, crappy pants. Just a bunch of crappy items. Didn't really get anything good here. I did level up, so. I could continue to increase my Frost Shield. I can continue to increase Frost Nova. I could level up my Ultimate, which I've only just unlocked and didn't really do anything new in, right? Yeah, see, I just have this. I could I could uh, level it up, which would be... We did this, right? We did that. But we could do this. While Unstable Current is active, 
Oh no, we already have that too. We already bought it. So we already leveled up the ultimate all the way then. Okay. That's why it's so good. I could level up the teleport again and max it. Maximize the teleport. Or maximize uh, ice armor to level 5. Enemies that hit you while ice armor is active have a chance to become frozen. Damage against vulnerable enemies uh, contributes 50% more to ice armor barrier. Or I could try to max the teleport. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do. <clears throat> Marie saying give tomorrow. Maybe, Jade. Maybe. <clears throat> uh... Let's do it so that if the enemies hit me when I'm ice, when I'm ice shield, they'll have a chance to be frozen. There you go. Okay. Notable of lightning spear helps ultimate do more damage called lucky hit. Oh, all right. Well, tell me next time. It's too late. I think we're done here, right? We can leave. No, they won't let me leave the dungeon for some reason. Why not? Why are they being stupid about it? I don't want that. I don't even know why that's there. Meet with Lorith and Ken Bardu. Can I just do that now? <coughs> Excuse me. Where's Ken Bardu? Here we go. Okay. I'm not going to waste time walking out. So, by the way, no one else has tipped tonight, right? We just got the one tip from Lisa Lou, and that's it. Well, I guess we had a couple other small ones, but nothing else because I haven't seen anything come through, and I just want to be sure that it's not my notifications that it's actually no one's tipped, okay? I just double-checking there. Everything else I know is, is correct, but I just want to be sure I'm okay on that front. <clears throat> okay. Where is he? down there. No one else did? Okay. Yes, we're recording. Why do you think I'm not recording? <clears throat> Mark did a super chase. How about, uh, how about a game of Lucky Hit? Remember? Yeah, of course. Uh, Shenmue. Lucky Hit's very popular in Shenmue. <clears throat> Thank you, Mark, for the super what chat. What did he take? Scrolls from the Forbidden Archive. He has the means to summon a lesser <clears throat> Him what? Which bloody one? Where? Oh, we don't know, of course. Elias could cover the steps in blood, but a lesser could wipe out the continent, or worse. Come, Elias's pet demon is inside. Pray it leads us to him. All right, join Lord for the autopsy. Here we go. <clears throat> They're gonna do autopsy on the body, the demon body, and see what they can find. See what they can learn. Damn, look at that. It was protecting that fool. Genma. This is Elias's work. But where is he? The answer lies in the stomach. Hello, Blastoise. Good evening. Good to have you. An arm. This is delicate. A soft noble's hand. Elias would have to feed this thing with more than fancy boots. But that's someone's son. Or daughter. We should burn demons. This is wrong. Uh, this medallion bears the crest of the ruler of the royal house of Gulran. Oh. Former ruler. Obviously. That's enough, old man. The dead deserve respect. The dead deserve nothing when the living are in danger. Now Gulran has a new ruler, and we have Elias to thank for it. The dead may be worthless to you, but that medallion could bring peace to those still mourning. Fine. If we are to find Elias, then we must also travel to Gulran. Meet me there, and be swift about it. What's up, uh, M Mild Cat 911? How are you tonight? Welcome. Oh, and avoid the city gates. Too many cannibals. Go to the cliffs. We'll find help there. All right, we got to meet him in Gulran. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 
Wow, they're really having you explore the map, huh? We've gone northeast, we've gone further north, and now we're basically going to the central map. We haven't even done anything in the southern map yet. Anything. All right, let's head out. We're going to all new areas now, right? Yep, all new areas. Let's go. <clears throat> Here we go. So far, no issues. I mean, I finished Act 1, went right into Act 2, did the entire Act 2, now I'm doing Act 3, and it doesn't seem like I'm having any issues continuing. If we end up running into a, a wall where something's too hard, we could definitely go do side quests, but for now it just seems like continuing the way I'm playing is working, right? <clears throat> Alright, Arkham, well, thank you for looking out for me. He was wondering if I had recorded or not. I Indeed, I am. What I'm hoping is that these videos are working and will upload tonight, because for some reason earlier, the podcast would not complete uploading to YouTube. I, I don't know why. It was very odd that it wouldn't finish. It stuck at 94%. It just wouldn't complete. I had to edit it out of the earlier stream to get it to, to show up. So, hopefully these videos will be fine tonight. I'm not ready yet. Firebrand. So we're in the desert now. Look at this. We're actually in the desert. We went from, you know, the ice area to the dark, uh, like, like swamp-like marshes and dark forests. And now we're in the freaking desert. Within a matter of minutes, too. It's not even like we went too far. The game certainly has a ton of climates that it covers and environments. <clears throat> Drown in the Deep says, I'm not sure if it's the end of Act 3 or 4 when you get your... Uh, you know, mount side quest. Well, that's what I'm heading for. I'm trying to get the mount. If you get the mount, then you can move around so quickly, right? It'll be much easier to maneuver around and rather than hoofing it around on foot. I'm glad to hear that, Marcus. is playing King of Fighters 15 last year, and now Street Fighter 6 this year has reinvigorated his love of fighting games, and he's looking forward to Tekken and the combat as well. Little combat coming out in September. Tekken, we have no idea when it's coming out. It doesn't have a release date yet. We haven't really heard much about it recently. Right now, people are actually playing that closed beta test for Mortal Kombat 1. I was not selected, so sadly I'm not playing it, but it's all good because I've got so many other things I'm juggling. <laughs> I got so many other things I'm juggling, I honestly don't know how I would have done it. What is, did the Did you see that? It disappeared. The obelisk in front of me disappeared. I wonder, is there some lag right now? Is that what's going on here? I think we're lagging. That sucks. Okay. What do I like about Diablo the most? The addictive gameplay. And, uh, you know, rewarding fights when you fight a big boss and it explodes at the end and you get some good loot. It's pretty fun. I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm not really addicted to this game like I was Diablo 1 and 2. It's not, I'm not the same kind of person. Back then, I was only playing one game when I was, like, in, you know, college days and stuff. And today's very different. But I'm still enjoying having chill fun with all of you as I play this. All right, the greed shrine. Speed me up. Speed my ass up. Looks like we're heading into a new town. The Hidden Overlook. Not really a town. Okay, oh, God. Holy shit, look at that. A whole town full of dead people. Oh, I'm here, Lori. That's pretty gruesome. Good of you to come. Pity you didn't bring an army or siege work. The... Elias is here. Gone to the palace, no doubt. Behind the high wall with the gates <clears throat> barred behind him. We can't get through. You know who can. Zelaya. Sure. How many messages did I send? <clears throat> How long has Oyun been missing? Trapped Oyun? in there with those butchers? She may be the only one left who knows of the tunnel. If she's still alive. If this tunnel exists at all. You don't trust me. Of course not. <laughs> You're a thief. Useful years ago, true. But it's clear you have some other reason to seek this Oyun. Oyun? Not your business. 
If I were to look for Oyun, where would I start? She has a house in the market square. We were supposed to meet there before, but I couldn't get close. Tried to come back alive. Knock on the door. Changes this looks like Outworld. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. What's up, Cyrax? Things are going good. Thanks for asking. Are we? Wait, are we in the right place? Find the market square? Yeah, I think so. We're trying to find the market square down here. Fly swarm. What a stupid enemy. Fly swarm. Executioner. <clears throat> nice frozen when he hit me, and then I broke it. That's cool. of a shield pop, right? I'm never going to get anything out of that. Oh, it sucks. I regenerate health, though. Yeah, I regenerate health by waiting. That's my ability now, is slow health regeneration when you're not getting hit. So whenever I'm low on health like this, I'll just stand around and get my health back rather than have to pop a potion. Good stuff. So we're in the market square. This is it. Sorry, Gorger. We'll gorge on someone else, you asshole. <clears throat> okay. I'm not sure where I'm going. I see a few things to do, like the climb, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. Hmm. Ah, time to traverse. Got it. Assholes. <laughs> yes, I played Diablo 1 and 2 on PC back in the day when I was a PC gamer in the you know early 2000s. I, I, I don't know. The cannibals are rounding everyone up, killing, feasting. But a few, they drag away. The prisons, I heard. Why would these monsters keep anyone alive? Find the prison. All right. All right. We're going to find a prison somewhere. I don't know where that would be. Uh, looks like this is looping back, actually. Maybe we got to go to the ground level. Yeah, probably. Go back this way. Probably through here. All right. Nice, it hit me and got frozen. Take that, you son of a bitch. Oh, it can teleport too. Did you see that? It teleported? Interesting. It had the same ability that I had to teleport with electricity. I'm not ready yet. If I just stand here, I'll get my health back. Yep. Okay. 
Well, no one's talking to me now. People talk about random stuff. A maniac. He's a maniac. Maniac in the game. And Diablo just will never be the same. I'm not ready yet. My warrior's here. Give me time to prepare. Shocking executioner. Oh, he's shocking, all right. Shocking he lasted that long. <laughs> is summer hot in Seattle? Uh, usually they have two to three weeks that are quite hot in the summertime. It's not the entire summer. Our summers are not that bad, but yeah, when we have the heat, it's pretty bad because people are not equipped for it. But we're good. We have three air conditioners in the house. We learned our lesson. In case of them is GTA, you miss Grand Theft Auto. And hey, they're working on six. It should come out sometime during the next 10 years or so, maybe. We're yet. lucky. The gatehouse. I don't even know if this is where we're supposed to be going. Gatehouse? I need more time. A pale tongue. What the fuck do I do with that? It's probably the wrong way. The Forsaken Vestibule. Yeah, this is leading back. I guess we'll go the other way. Because I don't think this is the right way. Tomorrow is Street Fighter on the day stream. The night stream tomorrow is Zelda. Ah, we made it. Find a way into the prison. I see a sideway over here, I think. Look at this asshole following me. Here we go. And whoop! Hastily constructed barricade. The funny. Which Diablo is my favorite? I remember Diablo 2 being really, really good, but I mean, it's so long ago, I don't, I don't remember it. I just remember really loving it when it was out. One way to get in. Nothing else here. Forsaken vestibule. I've been forsaken. I don't even want to know what that is over there. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> I walked right past the creepy, disgusting sound. I'm avoiding them. It's pretty awesome. I think there's enemies that are just walking right by them. You don't have to kill every enemy you see. You just kill the ones that are necessary. Jailer of the Weed. I'm not ready yet. Wow, he was tough. Yeah, right. Okay. Are you here? Oh, Yoon! You're See you tomorrow, saying. Willow. Who are you? The chopping. It stopped and I thought... I thought he was coming for me next. Your friend Zoraya sent me. She... She's still here? You'll see her soon. We need to get through the market. I... I know another way. It's safer. <clears throat> The old prison wing. It was sealed off years ago after an earthquake. Of course. Where did the cannibals come from? Here. The prison. The wall ahead. That used to be the prison. Yeah. Yeah. 
A lot of weakened walls. See you tomorrow Street Fighter Gate. Sounds good. Oh, excuse me. This is pretty safe. These are just little jobber zombie enemies. They're no big deal. Okay. Not a job or zombie. That's all right. I froze his ass instantly. Very nice. Love this new build. Ice and electricity. I got rid of the fire hydra. It's working much better than the ice and electricity did actually. So no complaints. Look at that! Everyone's exploding around me. Beautiful. How about some fur-lined pants? Very nice. The combos. These guys used to be big tanks. They really don't do that much to me anymore. I just I take their health down right away now. Pretty good. Go ahead, hit me. Get frozen. Nice. And now my barrier comes out. So good. It's like the perfect time for that. Very nice. Appearing out of thin air now. Fur line pants at the bee's knees. Very little chafing. This is the great Andros. There you go. Gotta speak with her? Are you ready? Yes. Where is she? Alright. Gotta get up here. Hopefully she survives walking around this one street. <laughs> oh no, what was that? Keep that beast quiet. Shh, it's safe now. Nothing will get you up here. Here we are. Cool. Zolaya! Oh, Yun! Oh, you've come back to me! You waited. You kept yourself in danger. Oh, you stubborn cow! Of course I waited. Where would I go without you to tell me? Anywhere away from here. Oh, reunited. Yes, well, you're a lucky fool. I'll give you that. <laughs> ah, Lorath here sent this one to find you. They need your help getting into the palace. There's an old escape tunnel. The entrance is in the caverns nearby. Behind an alcove marked with the Overseer's Cross. Twin sabers joined at the hilt. Press the left pommel to open the way. Oh, all the secrets. Caverns. Hmm. Could be worse. Wanderer. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Let's go. hey -ya! I think that was the merchant's horse. Best not tell. Uh, stole the merchant's horse. Well, she is a thief. He did say that. Okay. Lorith? You know, when we first met, I assumed this connection you have with Lilith would lead you to darkness, as it has Elias. But after the good you've done here, maybe I was wrong. We shall see. What's up, Shrubrat? Good evening. Speak to Laura at the center of the awful pits. All right. Let's keep this going. We only have a little bit left on the stream tonight, but I'll see how far we can get in the next few minutes. Maybe, you know, enable the next quest. 
Uh, we had good progress tonight, beating Act 2 and getting a good chunk into Act 3. Looking forward to this later this week. Maybe we'll even beat Act 3 later this week when we play it again on uh, Tuesday night, right? We'll see. We'll see. While you were in the city, I was thinking on Elias's plans. Which of the lesser evils he means to summon. What he did to Gulran is a clue. Gulran? He is drowned in blood. Meaning his goal is likely Duriel or Andariel. What's the difference? <laughs> Duriel feeds off physical pain, Andariel revels in mental and emotional torment. Whichever one it is, if Elias succeeds, many more cities will share Gulran's fate. Our only hope is he hasn't completed the summoning yet. The awful pit. Oh, you said the tunnel is in a hidden alcove. An answer to the old escape tunnel. Let's do this quick. Showbread says he probably won't be here for Di Diablo streams. He's going to probably play it himself. It's all good. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got Street Fighter 6. We got Zelda still going. We've got Final Fantasy 16 in the mix now. So there's a good variety of games being played on my streams. Spiders are tanks. Fire these spiders tank. Almost at 32 now. Alright. The ghoul. Only time to prevent that. The ghoulie. At least I'm at the right level for the missions. Is to say, well, the thing is, the missions auto scale. Did you know that? In this game, things auto scale. However, there are points in the game where if you don't have a good enough kill, basically it can be very challenging. I know that that cat had gotten to a boss ahead of where I am now. And she couldn't beat the boss, and she went and had to do a bunch of other side content. And then she came back later on with a better build, and she was able to beat the boss. Yeah. Alright, Shrubber, have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, the old escape tunnel it is. Here it is. Oh, what the hell? Blade Storm showed up out of nowhere. What is this place? Sabers, just as all you Cat is a rogue. Wait. Do you hear that? Hmm? Voices. Oh, look at this. Do we stay here? Need Whoa. More okay. More meat. And you will have it once Elias has finished his grand work. What work? You will see soon, bro. The seeds we have sown will bear fruit. Good one will be reborn, and so will. <laughs> oh, jeez. What work? Elias. He is poised to summon Andariel. Andariel, that's the who they're looking to summon. That's the Her mental power torment. Will lift us to new heights. And of course, you, you will have more meat. Huh. I want to watch. Certainly, Great Bro. You will be the guest of honor. Sheesh. I picked it up. 
Probably could use the inventory space. <clears throat> yes, I'm aware that Laura's voice actor is the same as Sid in Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> Tyrant's Court. Ring I don't want. Everything's empty. Here we go. Finally some enemies. Mother's Chosen. Where? Here we go. Where the hell are all the enemies? We're running in circles here. You use the second enchantment slot for teleport. Your dodger will come and teleport. With damage reduction and, and CD effects from boots. How do I do that? I forgot how to do that. I know what you're saying. But I don't remember how to do that. I think I, do, I only have one enchantment slot right now. Don't I? Don't I get another one soon? But I don't know how to do it. I would love to do that. Make my dodge a, basically a teleport. If you can tell me how to do it, I don't know where it is. Achievement! Tortured Souls. Kill 666 bandits, cultists, and knights. Alright. Enchantment screen? What's the enchantment screen? Where the hell is that? Where is there an enchantment screen anywhere in this game? There's abilities. There's consumables, quest, aspects, and this. Like, what on earth are you talking about? Go to abilities. Okay. Okay. L3. Okay. Yeah, look. Okay, I have a new one. When did I get that? When I hit level 30, maybe? So, where is... Uh, how would I even get to enchantments? I'm stuck. I can't go down there. Look. Teleport. Assign skill to... Okay. Here you go. So, now when I teleport, it's basically... A, uh, it's the same as the uh, the electric teleport. It's gonna have like a mini version, right? Cool. Sounds good to me. Thank you for that. So I guess there's only two you can do. I'm stuck already. Here you go. Yeah. Oh shit! I teleported out by accident. I really didn't need to do that. Oh, I'm, I'm taking tons of damage in this fight. Holy shit, I'm taking insane damage. I'm not ready yet. I get the feeling I can't tank this one out. Oh! I'm in trouble. I'm trying to die. I need more time. Buy some time here. Jeez, she takes my whole, she takes my entire uh, force field away. My whole barrier gets gets melted away there. Oh, she got knocked down. Holy shit. I got her down to half health. Oh, God. Oh, she's fucking me up and I can't move. I'm slow. Okay, ultimate. Got my ultimate. I need more time. I'm about to die. I need healing. Any healing in this goddamn room? Where'd she go? I need more time. We almost got her down to her final thing. Okay, where is she? Got her down to her last health bar. I need more time. Slowed. Oh. I need more time. Tank it out. Tank it out. Dodge. Ooh, it's a tough fight. 
Almost got her. Heal. I have enough heal. I have one more. I think we're going to do it. Close. I need time to do that. I got my ultimate. My ultimate. Got it. Finisher. Yes. Oh, that was close. That was a close fight. Woo. That was the closest fight in the whole game so far, actually. Good shit. We did it. A gruesome collection of partly eaten corpses. Ew. Very nice. Phew. Enter the sanctum. Oh, do I really want to do this? I should probably save, huh? Look at all this. An archive of the forbidden. Unpicked by Elias himself. He must be planning to summon Andaru somewhere else. But he did his research here. Look around. There might be some clues that can tell us where the ritual will take place. Just stuff. Uh, I haven't checked any of the equipment to see if any of it's any good. The prophecy Journal. is unfolding before my eyes. I was right to act on it. When the prime evils come, they will find no easy prey. The prime evils. We will be ready. Our rebirth begins here. With Andariel chained to the heart of Gulran, she will feed on the suffering in this city of anguish. And we, in turn, will feed on her. Andariel's power will be ours to wield against the other Lords of Hell. If more must die to see it come to pass, so be it. I will not fail you, Mother. Mother. Okay, here's what I found. Andariel, chained to the heart of Gulran. Her evil will not stay contained here. It will drown the land in suffering. This is beyond madness. Quite the opposite. Elias' mind is clear for once. When I knew him, he was searching for purpose. I couldn't give him one, and so he found it in Lilith. I didn't stop him. I let him become... this. Now is our chance to make it right before things get even worse. Yes. We have what we need. The summoning will take place at the Temple of the Primes in Mount Seabol. Now to find a way out. Knowing Elias, he would have had an escape route in case things didn't go his way. Probably gonna save up here unless uh, they just let us leave right away. The bookcase. I guess that's the one thing you learned from me. A bookcase escape? <laughs> Good? I think we did it. Indeed. Speak with Lorith. What now? Should have killed him when I had the chance. We must hurry. Alright. Well, I'm not doing this now. I'm just gonna save. What does it say to do? Ah, find a way into the Temple of the Primes. So, again, from where we are, totally new area that we'll be heading to. This is like the center of the map. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, great progress tonight, everyone. Obviously, uh, with uh, finishing up Act 2 and getting quite a great tear into Act 3. Thank you, everyone here, for chilling. Thanks to anyone who supported the stream. Thanks for the advice to those who were giving me some build advice. Getting rid of Chain Lightning and replacing it with the Teleport actually was quite useful. And, uh, you know, leveling up my ultimate skill is useful as well. I mean, that was a tough fight. That boss there was taking chunks off my health, but the fact that I was able to teleport away and get my barrier back up and rejuvenate my HP was very, very useful in that fight. If I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't have won that boss fight. But uh, thank you. Great stream. We're going to play this again this week and uh, continue on with Act 3. See if maybe we can wrap up Act 3. And again, people are saying it's either like the end of Act 3 or early Act 4 where there's that mission to get your mount, which should change the game up a bit, which will be great. So thank you guys. Great progress tonight. Great chill fun. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. And if you also, if you watched on demand, I hope you're enjoying. Leave me feedback, uh, you know, some comments on the videos. Let me know what you think. And we'll go from there. Another couple of days, we'll play again in a couple of nights. Thanks for a nice Diablo late night chill stream. See you next time.